Today I'm here to show you what you can do in Photoshop Elements 8 and 9. We don't have text on a path, but we can still use text paths. This is a text path created by Jen Caputo. Unfortunately, she's retired, so I'm going to link you up to some similar products by other de designers. I'm just adding a grey layer to behind this text path so you can see what I'm doing a little bit easier. Now this is a pre-created text path. I can resize it and drag it around to wherever I'd like on my layout. I can rotate it and then when I'm happy with how it looks press the commit or green tick. Now if I take my text tool pressing T. I can select the text, change my font and my font size and then I can start typing. Might reduce the size of my font a bit. So you can see I just have a little, a few limitations. I have to start at the start of the text path. I mean I can press the space bar to sort of jiggle it around. But I can't really modify the shape or the starting point of the text. But you certainly can use text paths within Photoshop Elements 8. You can use these sort of text paths from any version, at least from version 6 onwards. So I bought these um, text paths quite some time ago and have used them on a few layouts. If we didn't want it to start at the start, we could always centre the text. Another sort of text path is a path which is filled. This is again from Jen Caputo, bought a couple of years ago. You'll see in um, a lot of digital scrapbooking stores, if you just search for text paths, you'll come up with little items like this. First thing I'm going to do is just add a new layer that's white so you can see what I'm doing a little bit more. So we've got two text paths here. One is a little curve and one is the actual circle shape. So if we grab our text tool, You can see here that my text is actually justified as well. I could change that to left and then the text will have a different look to it. You could even centre the text and you can see as you add more, it's got a raggedy edge on that side. So you can get lots of different effects depending on how you might align your text. I've found that with this particular shape it's been quite handy to do the right align. If I've got a curving shape then I want to make sure my text doesn't overlap. So in Photoshop Elements to justify your text back again you do Control Shift J or Command Shift J on the Mac. So there you have it, a different shape text box. Now again we've got our little curving shape and if you want to have a different effect you could start by centering and type from the center. Yes that's another option. Hey there you have it. A couple of different options for using text paths in Photoshop Elements 6 and above. A couple of products that you might find useful are from Scrapbook Graphics. Dawn Ink Skip has provided um, some scissor cuts. These are cut out pieces of paper but they also include a text path. I'd be inclined to probably just use the text path by itself rather than with the cut cutouts but you could totally use it with both. Another template by Dawn Ink Skip is this above and beyond. It's got three little heart text paths. Looks great. So there you have it. A couple of options for how you can get text paths in your older versions of Photoshop Elements. 
Do you have a Photoshop Elements question? Leave me a comment and let me know which video tutorial you'd like me to record next. Visit digitalscrapbookinghq.com for more tips, tutorials and free online workshops.